What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Papa Funk with another awesome tutorial on Red Dead Redemption 2. This is a super, super easy glitch, guys, for pelts. This is going to be a really easy, straightforward video. If you guys are into that kind of thing, I put up a new video every single day for Red Dead Redemption 2 to help you guys out, to help myself out. So go ahead and smash that subscription button. If you guys really like this video, hit the thumbs up. It helps me out. helps everybody else out that's looking for this video. So go ahead, hit those buttons, guys. helps me out a ton, and let's jump into this tutorial. Okay, guys, so this pelt duplication glitch is super easy to do. The first thing you're going to need to do is fully upgrade your camp so that you have the horse station. The horse station is a necessity to pull off this glitch. So once you've done that and you have the horse station, I don't care how you do it, if you got to go mine gold or whatever you got to do to get this horse station, do what you got to do to unlock the horse station. Once you've unlocked your horse station and you can store multiple horses, you need to make sure you have two horses. You need to have your main horse and just some other horse. It doesn't matter what horse it is, but make sure that you have two horses and the horse station available to you. That's all you need to do to do this glitch. And of course, um, a pelt. So try to go out, find yourself the best pelt you can. If you're going to be reproducing this glitch for money or other purposes, make sure that your pelts have three stars. All right, guys, so once you have those four things, you've got your two horses, you've got your perfect pelt, and your horse station unlocked, go ahead and make your way over to the horse station. All you have to do, hit triangle, hitch your horse. Now we're going to pull up the horse station and select our other horse that doesn't have the pelt. Now you'll see it'll spawn in our white horse, and the pelt is stuck there in the air. Super easy, guys. Now you can ride the horse away from this location once you've spawned in your other horse so that the pelts aren't just dropping on top of each other. But then to re reproduce this, all you have to do is call in your other horse, then call in the other horse that's not wearing the pelt again, and it'll just spawn in with the pelt floating in the air. And you can just keep cycling through the horses until you have as many pelts as you want so you can see it looks like my horse is holding the pelt here but as soon as you touch it it falls onto the ground so then we're going to go back over and just call in our other horse that we initially came in holding the pelt so again guys you take your first horse holding the pelt hitch him right get off your horse and call in that secondary horse once you call in that secondary horse, you can either ride this one away like this so that the pelts aren't just piling on top of each other, walk back over to the post, and call in that horse that doesn't have the pelt on it, and then just call in the horse with the pelt again, and it's going to spawn in like this. So I just called in our horse that doesn't have the pelt. We have the pelt here floating in the air. All right, so we hit that pelt. All we have to do is touch it, and it drops on the ground. Now we walk back over to the hitching station and call in that horse that's carrying the pelt. And he should spawn back in with the pelt on top of him again. So now, guys, all you have to do once you've got this going is now you can just keep picking different horse, different horse, different horse, and just cycling through the horses. And you will have more pelts than you know what to do with. I hope this video helps you guys out. As always, give it a like. Smash the subscription button if you enjoy it a lot. And if you guys want to come back tomorrow for another Red Dead Redemption video, smash the notification bell. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Stay safe. Happy hunting.